So where we're going to start is actually just on these uh, on this on the dashboard. So dashboarding is a is a big part of what we do. Uh, it's not the only thing that we do, but it is a a way of visualising the data and something we uh, you'll see as we're going through focus is we're very much a uh, an end user driven tool. So uh, our philosophy is to make it as easy and as simple as possible for you to get uh, very quick and easy results using the data that you're already collecting. So what we have on the uh, on the dashboard here is just a bit of a summary of uh, of our demo uh, company here, so we can see what our sales look like and what our variance over the last 12 months is, what our product mix looks like, and how that compares not just in sales but also with profit. So. Uh, we can start to compare not only revenue, but uh, what our profitability of our product groups actually are. We can also have our uh, some indicators of you know those uh, those risks or re where we might need to react, especially with things like declining customers, identifying uh, very easily what the declining customers actually uh, who they actually are. Uh, we can also have things like uh, you know, missed opportunities, also our revenue and margin uh, calculations, so we can start to understand, you know, where where the money's actually coming from in our business. Focus also allows you to to pull things in, such as budgets. Even in the sales stream, those budgets may not may or may not exist in your ERP system. Uh, Focus can work with disparate data very easily. Uh, so if you've got them in spreadsheets or something like that, that's not a problem. Uh, we'll cover a little bit more about that later on. Uh, we can also do some some geo mapping, uh, and we'll come back later on and actually show you how easy it is to use the dashboards and alter the dashboards, so you guys get a good idea of really what you'll be able to do. But the great thing also with these dashboards is it's not just the dashboard. You don't have to just look at uh, at this at these visuals and not know what's actually making them up. We make it very easy to, if we want to see how this rolling 12 months actually comes about, we can simply click onto the little analyze button here and it will actually take us into focus so we can see where those numbers actually came from. Uh, and we've taken into this uh, very easy to use uh, interface. So these the list of dimensions down on the left here will change depending on the uh, on what you would like to analyze in your business. So it's really made to reflect the way you like to look at your business. And we can really jump in at any level on these. So what we might want to do is concentrate on our customer types. So we can simply click on our customer types and we can see uh, what our revenue into the business has been for the last 12 months broken down by these different types. If I want to concentrate on a particular industry, maybe the IT industry for example, when I come to my customer ship tools here, I can very quickly and easily see all the customers that are active in this industry and have brought something from me in the last 12 months. What I can also do from this point is I'm actually looking for some, some quick wins. So I might want to know, well, what are these guys buying from me? So this is where we can start to make sure that the customers we have in that particular industry are buying a core range product that is uh, definitely relevant to their industry. So uh, if you're selling, if you're doing office fit outs, for example, you might want to make sure that everyone's buying a boardroom table from you. Uh, for example, but uh, in my case, I'm just going to grab my top three based on revenue because they're my core range products. So I can actually select those as well. When I come back to my uh, my list of customers, I can actually see that I've gone down from 240 odd customers down to below 60 customers. So out of 240 odd active customers, less than 60 buy my core range products. So who fell out? So very quickly and easily we can say, well, who are all the customers that fell out and what are their address details? You can have things like email address, primary contact, anything like that that you want in here. We can load all of that in. 
and it's just the click away to push that off into something like Excel. So now we have a marketing list of active customers not buying our core range of products that we can uh, easily get out and do something with. So there it is there. So very quick, very easy to, to get that data out and not just look for what is happening in your business, but uh, really starting to look for where that missed opportunity may exist, where we where we missed out on uh, on selling those core range products. Something else, if we're staying with the uh, with the quick wins, uh, most businesses will have the uh, when you're selling product, there's a core product and a consumable product that goes along with it, or a complementary product. Uh, we like to call it a, a complementary sale. So, uh, and this is the the classic: if you're selling tables, you want to make sure they're buying the chairs. If you're selling sinks, you want them to buy the taps. In my case, LEDs and transformers are complementary. Every time someone buys an LED, kind of want them to buy the transformer from me as well. And what I can actually do is I can select both of these, click on the uh, on the matrix button up the top here. And it essentially creates a pivot or it moves them up to be headers across the top. So when I do come to my list of customers here, what we're able to see is how much each of our customers are spending in both of these groups. Now, like a lot of products, their, their value is different, but they do have a relationship in terms of quantity. So we can select our quantity here. And now we simply by playing with the sort order, very quickly and easily we can start to identify the customers that are buying, not buying product A, but are buying product B. So we've got a, some customers here are buying a large number of transformers without a single uh, single LED. So we might want to uh, contact these guys and actually find out uh, why they're not actually buying those products from us. And even at this uh, at this stage, if we want to roll it up a little bit and just look for sales staff who aren't achieving that that magic 50/50 split that we hope to see, we can still roll it up and say, well, these guys are selling uh, a significant amount of uh, product completely at the wrong mix. So we've really got to talk to these guys and find out why they're they're not pushing LEDs as hard as they could because uh, it's definitely achievable. As we look down the list, a lot of these guys are achieving close to that 50-50 split that we're hoping for. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to use. Uh, this is just one example of how you can actually compare things. You might want to compare the margins that your reps achieve uh, very quickly and very easily. And focus does make it really really quite easy to do those kinds of, uh, of comparisons. So a lot of our customers, for example, uh, will be receiving sell-through or pad data back from, from, customer, uh, from their customers. So if you're selling into Big W or sometimes the, your actual sell-through data is available, that can be loaded into focus and sat against your ERP data. So you can not only see what you sell to them, but what they sell of your product and what they're holding of your product. So, uh, for example, if you see your mm. sales of that product are low and they're not holding a lot of stock and their sales are low, they could be uh, the positioning of the product on the shelf might not be optimum. It might uh, they might be trying to run your product out. Focus makes it easy to identify what those actually are and gives you the ability to uh, to do something about it. Uh, something else that uh, focus is uh, is also quite uh, widely used for is really to empower the the sales staff. The sales staff are you know on the cold front they they're the ones that need to use this data sometimes the most. Uh, and because as you can see, focus is actually a web-based product. Uh, it will run on any internet browser. Uh, so any internet enabled device, so if you've got iPads or Android tablets, it doesn't really matter, the product will work exactly the same. So you can have the same user experience in the office as you do when you're actually out on the road. 
And an example of how a rep might want to uh, to actually use that is they might want to say concentrate on themselves and have a look at their customers, and they might want to actually decide to go and actually see one of their customers. So maybe they're going to go and see uh, this Tallahassee customer here, and what they can actually do is open up a scorecard, and what this scorecard allows people to do or allows you to do is to make sure that all the points that you wish a sales rep to talk to a customer about are covered. So these dashboards are obviously customizable. And what it allows you to do is just compare how this customer is going compared to the average, see where they're up, where they're down, see what their product mix looks like. So you might um, you know, be very heavily weighted in one product group and if they find another supplier for that product group, you're at risk of losing that customer. And even just seeing what those hard truths are, what products are up, what products are down. So very easy to make sure that uh, you're covering off everything that you want uh, sales people to talk to your customers about. And this being web, uh, being an easy to use web interface and can be used on a tablet, you can actually use this product in front of your customers. So you're really empowering the uh, the person who's on the cold face to to have all the information they need to uh, to make those good quick business decisions and uh, and try and drive up revenue very very quickly and very easily. So we'll we'll cover off uh, we'll move back on to maybe some of the how to react. Uh, a couple of different ways of being able to react to things that are that before it's too late. So understanding uh, how you can use focus to manage your your customers, understanding when they're slowing, when they're stopping, uh, and what they're stopping in. So there's a couple of examples that we have here. That first example you might have seen on the dashboard was the uh, having a list of declining customers. So out of the box, we give you these. Uh, these calculations, they can be edited and altered to better suit your business model. This one, for example, is looking for customers that have had three months of constant decline. So we're saying if the customers for the last three months has been slowing, you might want to know about that. So now we can start to see all of the uh, all of the customers that have had three months of constant decline, excluding the current month. And then you can still concentrate on particular reps or particular products and actually see um, which products or which salespeople uh, are responsible for those declining customers. Very easily. Focus also just makes it easy to ask these questions in a very ad hoc manner where we could easily concentrate on our top rep here and have a look at, at what territories they actually operate in. So he's our best rep, but when we compare it to last year, how is he actually going? And when we do that, we can see he's actually, he is up, but we do have a decline in New South Wales. So we can drill into that and understand, well, what products? What are the, the actual products that are in decline? So we can very easily sort this, and just understand where that fall actually is. So LED lights look to be uh, in decline. We can see what the actual products are, or maybe we're interested in who the customers are. So in a matter of seconds, essentially, you can go from looking at your best rep to finding out who his, uh, who his customers are of concern, and then be able to do something, be able to do something about that. It's also very easy to change the time period. So even at this late stage, unlike a lot of traditional reports where you have to set up the time periods at the beginning, focus makes it very easy where we might want to look at just for the last three months. And now we can actually see what, what it looks like when we actually, uh, where our customers actually fall now when we're looking at a different time period without having to open up new reports or know which is the right report that we need to run to actually get that information. So hopefully that uh, gives you a bit of an idea of just some of the ways focus can be used. 
Uh, I did want to also come back to the dashboards and just show you how easy it is to uh, to use and uh, how easy it is to also add new things to your dashboard. So I'll scroll down here to my uh, my little GeoMaps down here. If you wanted to add maybe another another territory to this, so we can easily clone these and edit them. And just a matter of coming back over here and maybe removing the uh, the New South Wales and popping Queensland on there. Having a look at who those customers are, choosing how we'd like to visualise it. So in this case, we want to use another heat map. Change our name. And click save. So very... It's that easy just to add something uh, or edit something on a dashboard. All of this is uh, covered in the training that we actually provide with the product. Uh, Focus uh, as a company is actually developed here in Australia. All the support is also local as well as the support offered through, uh, through microchannel.